Hey there guys and gals. I wanted to make this video really quick just to update you on something um, uh, and just ask you for your prayers if you're willing to pray or if you don't believe in prayer then just send your positive vibes or positive wishes, um, that kind of thing. Um, my, the pastor of the church I'm a member of here where I live, um, his mom is in the advanced stages of Alzheimer's and she'd been having uh, more and more problems with her heart. And yeah, apparently, um, the day before yesterday, um, uh, she had to be taken to the hospital by ambulance because she couldn't breathe. And she has a very unique situ situation where most people, when they, when they do something physically active, their heart rate increases. Hers plummets. It goes down drastically. And so they took her to the hospital because she couldn't breathe and she was having problems with her heart. And um, the doctor determined that she needed to have a pacemaker put in. So she had that surgery done last night. I got a text from him saying she just she, she came out of surgery and that the surgery went well. And the doctor said the pacemaker was definitely needed. She definitely needed to have that done. So I just want you guys to be praying for her. I went to the hospital on a whim. I wasn't planning on going there, but he texted me um, Tuesday night and told me how bad off she was, and he was really torn up about it. Of course, I mean, of course, it's his own mom, and uh, he was really having a hard time. So I drove to the hospital in town, uh, about a 45, 50, about an, almost an hour drive, and went there and stayed with him in the hospital until he went home around midnight. And then I um, slept, I, I, was, I went to my, my dad's home, but he was already in bed. It was late, he was already in bed, doors were all locked. And so I just slept, I kinda napped in my car off and on. And I went back to the hospital yesterday morning and stayed there until the pastor got there. And the doctor saw the pastor and he talked about the surgery, what was going to happen. And I went ahead and uh, came home after that. But I told him if you needed me to come back up there, I would. But <coughs> <coughs> my pastor is an incredible, incredible guy. Very kind, very generous, very loving, very caring, very sweet. And he... um. This has been weighing heavily on him and his siblings, with their mom being in the advanced stages of Alzheimer's. She keeps asking where her husband is, and he passed away almost five years ago. And um, she keeps thinking that one of them is her husband, and one of them is her brother, and she's very mentally confused. Um, she doesn't remember who to anymore, um, and so... Um, She's really not doing good, and I can't imagine. Maybe some of you out there have parents or family members who have Alzheimer's, and you know the burden that comes with and, and the struggle that causes. And um, they're considering putting her in a nursing home now because she, she requires so much constant care. They can't really devote that kind of time to her, unfortunately. So, um, one of her sons is living with her full-time, taking care of her full-time. But it's been a weight and a burden on him to be there for her all the time. But any time for himself. So, I just want you guys to be praying for the family. Um, be praying for uh, my pastor's mom and him and his siblings as they... Try to figure out what to do next. You know, now she has her heart taken care of. She has a pacemaker put in. Um, she still isn't, of course, the advanced ages of Alzheimer's and still mentally confused and is at times combative. And um, I cannot imagine what they're going through. So if you would keep them in your prayers, I would appreciate it very, very much. Um, I will update you when I hear anything. Um, but right now, things are kind of... She's in the hospital recovering from her surgery. Probably be sent home, you know, in a couple of days from now. And um, but it's just, it's a huge it's a huge weight and huge burden on them because they want the best for her. I mean, you you want the best for your mom, obviously. And they want they want to take good care of her, but it's it's getting to a point where it's beyond their ability to do so. And so she has moments where she's really immensely sharp, and she'll recognize someone and call them by name and know who they are. 
and talk to them about past memories. And there are moments when she doesn't know that her son, that her husband's dead, and her son is is not her husband, and and so she, it's hard to know what to do. So um, it's just a really difficult situation for them. Uh, and so I would appreciate your prayers for them, for my pastor, and he has um, two brothers and one sister, <coughs> and of course their mom. So uh, keep them in your prayers. But I was at the hospital. I went, got to the hospital around nine something um, Tuesday night. Stayed there until midnight. Then was back there at six o'clock the next morning, yesterday morning. And was there from six o'clock till almost noon. So um, it was a long, long day and a half for me. So I've been sleeping since I got home. But keep them in your prayers. I love you guys. That's what's happened with me. That's my, my biggest thing right now is just praying for them. Um, I haven't had to deal with a direct relative who has had Alzheimer's. <clears throat> so I'm not going to sit here and say, I don't know exactly what that's like because I don't know. I don't know what that's like. Uh, I had an aunt that had Alzheimer's, but I, she lived like an hour, like two hours away from me. I hardly ever saw her, didn't know her that well. Um, and so I didn't really, I don't really, haven't been personally affected by this. But I know a lot of people have. have and it's so hard. Keep them in your prayers. I'll update you when I hear something. And um, I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video.